Radio Tubers, I thought that I have got a bunch of new subscribers and I thought I'd do a walk around and an overview of everything I do. I've got to show you some of these. No, they're not man boobs. That's an unbalanced tea from Batroom. And I've also got my new tea. Ah. Turns out my wife has my tripod at the moment doing some other filming and I kind of am sick of this because it makes everyone sick, right? My solution will be an Osmo. What is it? A Mobile 3 combo. So I'm trying to up my game a little bit. So let's time lapse starts. I'm gonna have to read the instructions. Got a charge cable, instructions, a little bag, Osmo. Ooh, feels nice. A tripod of some description and a carry handle. Nice hard case and the gimbal. cool the way it worked. This is just a gimmick, but I love it. We've got the next project and the next project consists of about two and a half thousand NCR 18650 greys, a whole heap of cell holders from 18650shrink.com and a whole heap of cell protectors. And I also have coming from battery hookup all the nickel strip. So that's part of the next project that I'm working on. Also up here we have all the other stuff that I do in a day. This rig here is my YouTube set at the moment and is not really hooked up to much but does do lots I guess you would say. At the moment it is 14S with a Watchmon 5 and then I've got a Watchmon 7 there. I'm going to change that all over to 7S so I can actually run my X6 on that. Uh, that's there is storage. And that's just a couple of computer screens to replace the telly I had up there and a couple of Tesla modules that are going back shortly. That's all that's happening up here. I have two systems. I have a grid tied and an off grid. And this is my grid tied inverter. It's a six year old SMA TL5000 inverter. And it has 11 panels facing north and 13 panels facing west. And you can see there, it's about seven o'clock in the morning. We're doing about 1500 watts. A uh, day we've done 0.6 of a kilowatt hour and we've done 56 megawatt hours in the six years that I've owned this system. Now that feeds directly into the grid. It doesn't do much work around the house. It does power my shed during the day. Now this inverter is basically grid tied. So its function is grid tying and selling back to the grid. I only get seven cents per kilowatt hour, but it also does the hot water via my solar hot water diverter from my energy and it is called an eddy and it's supplied by the Aleutian. Now, it is currently putting nothing into the grid, as you can see here. Let's see if I can bring the light up. There we go. It's producing nothing to the grid. And up here, we're doing about 1500. So my workshop must be, my workshop must be pulling a little bit at the moment. And we're pulling one kilowatt into the hot water system. We've done 0.3 so far today. Uh, and we have got savings. Just to make it a little bit easier, if I ran that up to 2,500, it's about $650 I've saved from this unit, not selling to the grid. But of course I get seven cents per kilowatt hour selling to the grid on the, my current energy plan, which will be changing shortly, I hope. Now that is um, about $150 less. So in and 12 months of owning this device, it's saved me about $500, which gives it an ROI of under two years. So fantastic little unit and it's been working flawlessly for me. So this is my off-grid setup. So I have my two inverters. They're both PIP 4048s. Uh, that one's about two and a half years old. That one's about two years old. I've got a PCM60X. This is almost four years old now. 
So that one's doing 1 1.6 amps in, and that unit there has about three kilowatt of panels on it. And this pip has 1.5 kilowatt of panels on it, so it's pumping in about eight amps, and is facing into the morning sun. So this, these panels here get the most amount of sun the quickest in the morning. There's only 1.5 watt uh, kilowatts on that. That's doing already 600 watts. This one here is facing north, and we've only got 1.6 amps, and that's got three kilowatt of panels on it. So this one takes a lot longer to kick in. These panels were put there specifically to cover the breakfast loads and to help with that. At the moment, I don't have any panels on this. I plan to put another three kilowatt of panels onto this one. These panels here were recovered from a, a rooftop installation that was decommissioned. Bait trim BMS down there, switchboard, uh, disconnect with shunt trip, and I've got a shunt here that measures the coulomb counts in and out. Isolators coming from my solar panels, and I have 10 kilowatt of batteries there. And we have the other 30 kilowatt hours are here. And we've got a couple of fans here that are controlled from the Baytrium based on the temperature. And then we've got the Baytrium itself. Now I've covered this well in lots and lots of videos. That is my battery management system. And it, the very, very quick rundown, each one of these blue lines corresponds to a long one on here. Each one has two temperature sensors. So the top temperature sensor here is the bottom one down along the bottom, a little triangle and the bottom one here relates to the top one here. So you can actually see the temperature has risen there a little bit. You can see there the sun is actually hitting a couple of those cells and the white balance is absolutely terrible. So that's where you can see the temperature is actually rising on those cells. And these cells here are up and down a little bit because I've got heat blowing from this inverter warms up a couple of cells there so across the top we've got the lower cell we've got the higher cell we've got the state of charge and we've got the capacity to full so if i get 322 amp hours from my solar we've got 34 degrees so that'll relate to one of these cells here i can actually get the mouse hover over one of those and it tells that that cell is 36 degrees similarly you can hover over anything and it tells cell id and 3.82 volts so we've got the shunt voltage there so that is actually read directly from the shunt that is here so we've got a positive sense cable there which goes up into there so and we have got the negative is obviously on that side so that's how it grabs that we've got shunt amps that's what's going through it at the moment and it's going it's positively charging the batteries because there's no negative symbol doing 400 watts we've done almost no charging and we've done 3.3 kilowatt hours since midnight last night we've discharged the battery so not very much at all this time of year so tubers that's a very quick rundown of my little setup here i don't work too much with this anymore because it works so well i mainly play around with the battery up there in the shed but tubers thank you very much for tuning in if you like what i do smash that like button and i'll see you on the next one